iTunes has been around for nearly 20 years, and it's gone through a lot of changes in its lifetime. Despite being split into separate apps on macOS in 2019, the app still exists on Windows and older versions of macOS, and lives on as the iTunes Store on all iPhones and iPads. iTunes can be a confusing app, but it's one you absolutely need to live with if you use any of Apple's mobile devices. Unfortunately, iTunes tends to wrap itself deep within Windows' file system, which means changing basic settings can be super annoying. That includes your backup location in Windows 10, which contains files of backups created within iTunes. While you don't normally need to know where those backup files are located, if you change drives or you're upgrading your computer, being able to change where your backups are stored is a must. Depending on your PC, your backup file's default location may be in a couple of places. Head to your C drive in Windows, followed by your user account under Users. Some may have their files stored in a folder titled Apple, followed by Mobile Sync, while others may find their backup data hidden in the App Data folder within their user account. If you don't see app data, make sure you enable viewing hidden items within Explorer's View tab. So, now that you know where your backup folder is stored, here's all you need to do. First, make a manual backup of your current backup folder by putting it on an external drive. That way, if anything goes haywire, you still have your data backed up. Next, create your new directory wherever you want it. Make sure you note where it's going to be saved. For example, if you want it stored directly on the C drive, create a folder named iTunes Backup on your C drive. Now, open the Windows menu on your PC and type Command to search for Command Prompt, then open it. Use the CD command to make the backup directory you just created your active directory. For example, if your folder is on the C drive, you'd type CD C colon backslash iTunes Backup. Now, remove the original iTunes backup folder along with all of its contents, then type the command found in the description below, remembering to change the locations to match yours and making sure you include the quotes. Your original backup folder will be linked to your new one, and iTunes will start creating backups in Windows 10 at your new location. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.